On Field Nation, you can connect with top companies to build and grow your business as a service provider, working when, where, and how you want. In this video, we will share six tips to help you get more work and build a successful business on Field Nation. Number one, build a great profile. A great profile increases your chances of being noticed by buyers and matched with work. To start, a strong profile has a professional looking photo. Simply having a picture of yourself increases your likelihood of getting work by nearly 40%. Next, include a brief introduction and high level view of your strengths in the about section so buyers can get to know you better. Below that, be sure to list the types of work that you do. You can add more at any time, and as you start completing work orders, this list will update to show the number of jobs you've completed in each category and the average rating you received. Similarly, skill sets is another great way to show off what you're good at. A provider that has specific skill sets listed in their profile is 63% more likely to get work. Skills and tools go hand in hand, so techs that include a list of their tools and equipment are 67% more likely to get work than those who leave the equipment section blank. This can be anything from a ladder to a laptop, so include everything so buyers know you're ready to work. Further down, you'll see that you have the option to include any licenses and certificates that you may have. You don't need any to find work on Field Nation, but some credentials are required for certain types of work. Your employment history is another great opportunity to highlight the companies that you've worked for in the past, as well as the types of work that you've done. Lastly, add any degrees, training programs, or apprenticeships to the education section to finish your profile strong. Number two, get screenings. We recommend that providers complete a background check and a drug test through Field Nation when they join, then approximately every 12 months after that. This will show on your profile, so technicians with a background check get up to two times more work orders and can make nearly twice as much money as those without. Again, this is not required, but we strongly recommend, as this small step can make a huge impact. Number three, understand the buyer's point of view. The better you understand the scope of the job and the needs of the buyer who posted the work order, the better you can position yourself as the right person for the job. The buyer just wants the job done well for their client and is looking for the right person to do it. Here's what buyers say they are specifically looking for when selecting a technician. Skill and experience. Reliability. An excellent ambassador. Good communication and follow through. Number four, be proactive. Review all available work orders and after reading the scope, apply for as many in your area as possible. Be sure to check back frequently for new or especially last minute urgent dispatch requests, as those can be high dollar and position you to swoop in and save the day. When you find a work order that's a good fit, simply click request and include an additional message and ETA to help set yourself apart. You can also click counter offer instead if you wish to request the work with a change to the pay rate or to request things like travel or material reimbursement if they aren't already there. This will make the buyer aware of your expectations beforehand so they can get those additional expenses pre-approved for you before you start the work. Remember that either way, your request for a work order is your commitment to complete that work. You can withdraw a request at any time before the assignment, but once they accept your request, you immediately become that assigned provider. This is why it's so important to read the work order first before requesting and also review it again after assignment. This is to ensure you are ready and know all the requirements before arriving on site and that you and the buyer are on the same page. Another way to be proactive is to check your list of routed work. Some buyers will send a work order to multiple providers in one area, then wait to see who accepts it. This is called a routed work order, and the more often you check your list, the greater the chance that you'll be the first to respond and get the job. Keep in mind, there is no bidding process for routed work orders. To ensure that you're always up to speed on new jobs, set your account notifications to receive email and text alerts. The Field Nation mobile app also makes it easy to find and accept jobs while you're out in the field. Number five, build relationships with buyers. As you know, business is all about relationships. Take the time to stand out by connecting with each buyer. This can be accomplished multiple ways, including know the buyer's requirements and expectations so you can do a great job on site, Ensure you've read the scope, understand the job, and have the right tools with you when you arrive. Make a great impression with clear and consistent communication to keep the buyer updated as you go. We recommend you use whichever type of communication the buyer requests, but the work order messages is one great option to keep everything documented. 
close your work orders on time and with all the required deliverables attached, such as detailed closeout notes, paperwork, and photos. Be thoughtful and courteous to the end client as an ambassador of the buyer's company. For an extra touch, after the work is done, if you would like to work for them again, thank the buyer for the opportunity and ask if it's possible to join their preferred provider network. Number six, get an employee identification number, or EIN. An EIN is a nine-digit number assigned by the IRS that's used to identify a business entity. It's not necessary to use an EIN if you're an independent contractor working through Field Nation, but there are several benefits to acquiring one. Some buyers or their clients are required to use only providers with proof that they operate as a business. Using an EIN is a fast, free, and easy way to meet that requirement. Establishing yourself on the Field Nation Marketplace takes time, but these six tips can help you get more work and lead to more opportunities, landing the jobs you want, when you want them, to build up a five-star reputation.